Hello, this is Nick. Today I'm going to show you how to change the expiration date on Office 365 accounts, specifically the email address. By default, it expires in 90 days, and I'd prefer my accounts to change uh, much longer than that, uh, usually about two years. Uh, so basically, or we can set no, no expiration. First thing we want to do is we want to get um, and, and download some things here, and these are going to be PowerShell um, add-ons. And I've already downloaded and installed. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I've installed the 64-bit. I'm going to put a link into this into the, into the show notes. So we're going to download this one, and we're going to download this one. After that, you should, on your desktop, have an icon for Windows Azores. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to run as administrator. Um, then we're going to run the first command. And again, I'm going to put all these commands in the show notes. So just going to copy paste that in. Now you're going to need to log in to the account. Just copy paste that in. So that looks like it works. Now we're going to, so pretty much just copying and pasting these commands in. Now I'm remoted into another computer. That's why this um, resolution might not be the best. I'm actually in a server 2008 computer, is what I'm in on a client system. Okay, so we're logged in. Everything seems to be go good so far. Um, now we're going to list the usernames and see if it's currently set to expire. All right, so some of them, as you can see, are. Some of them aren't. Um, and it usually depends on when you change the rule. Uh, it, there's a rule by default, uh, and I'll show you that uh, shortly, to set... Um, the passwords to expire and when are they set to expire. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all the users not to expire. You can do individual users, but I just want to do all of them. So I'm going to use this command right here. And again, this will be in the show notes, so you can just copy and paste it rather than have to get this off the screen. And once that's set, we're going to verify that that took into effect by checking, running that command I ran just a second ago. And as you can see now, they also show true. So it's all set password never to expire. Um, so that should fix that. Um, now I want to also show you the back end if you're making new users. Uh, and by default, uh, they set it for 90 days show you here. So if you go into your administrator account, uh, it might look slightly different, but basically somewhere under service settings, or manage the entire office, you go to passwords, manage how often passwords expire. And by default, they'll be 90. You can change that to 730 days. Now the key is if you already had user accounts, you can still have to do those kind of uh, power line, PowerShell commands. Um, and change the existing users. But if you don't have any users and you do this first and you create new users, it's going to default set this. Uh, and I do actually re recommend that you probably change it every two years anyway. It's not a bad idea. So hopefully that uh, fixes your issue and uh, you won't have the annoying pop-up asking you to change your 365 um, account. If you like this video, please give me a plus one or a like. Thanks. Bye.